In the 15th century, Albania was a complex frontier. It was a vital part of the heartland of European Christian culture, but still sharply divided between competing feudal lords and fiefdoms. Lacking unity, the Albanian lords were quickly targeted by the Ottomans, and by 1385, the Ottoman Turks had successfully subjugated the lords of Albania. The lords were allowed to retain their status and properties, but they had to pay tribute to the Sultan and send the quota of their sons into Ottoman military service. These sons would then be forcefully converted to Islam. By 1463, the Christian Albanian resistance had been going on for almost two decades. The Ottomans launched their fourth invasion of Albania with 14,000 troops facing Skanderbeg, 12,000 men. The Pope was so thankful and appreciative for Skanderbeg's wider resistance that he named him a champion of Christ. I did not bring you liberty. I found it here among you. Skanderbeg is said to have proclaimed in 1443 when he converted to Christianity and symbolically raised the Castriori banner at the fort of Kruy. This event brought more to Albania than just the war with the Ottomans. Indeed, it was the first time all of Albania stood united as one political entity, igniting a nationalistic sentiment in the hearts of the Albanians. It is not a coincidence that the Skanderbeg Castriori family banner is today the Albanian national flag. We Albanians were slaves under Turkey for almost 500 years. Turks killed our ancestors, our women and our children. When we Albanians crown our beautiful Queen Teura, Turkey and its uncivilized evil ideology did not exist. It was Turkey that kept us behind in poverty and misery. Otherwise, we would have ruled the whole Illyric Balkan Peninsula.